everyone, it's Justine and I'm designing again today for So Suzy Stamps and I wanted to show you how to create this watercolor background and show you that technique as to how people are getting their titles and their die cuts to match their watercolor backgrounds. So today I'm going to be using the Flower Swirl Trio from So Suzy Stamps. Say that three times fast, I've been practicing for this video. And I'm going to ink it up using some Versamark ink because I'm going to be doing some heat embossing. Now heat embossing is going to be great because it's going to resist all of the watercolors so this is going to stay white. So I just stamped that using Versamark ink and then I'm going to go in with some white embossing powder from Ranger. This is this all super fine embossing powder I believe so it creates quite a bit of detail with the embossing powder because it's very fine grained. So I'm just going to grab my embossing powder here which is in a Tupperware container. I'm just going to cover my flowers tap off the excess by flicking the back and then I'm going to use a heat tool to heat set it. So you always know that it's heat set because it'll go glossy or shiny so I'm going to do my best to show you here um, how that works. So you'll see it sort of start to change color and become glossy and sort of the plastic in the embossing powder melts and that's how that works. I'm going to be using my Ganzai watercolor um, colors and I absolutely adore it. So I'm going to start off by putting some water onto my card. Um, this is watercolor paper so it's not going to bend too much. And I'm going to be using some various yellow, orange and red tones in order to saturate my paper. And then I'm going to get a really, really vibrant look because I'm not blending out. I'm just putting pretty much direct color onto water instead of using my brush to paint. And that's going to create this really awesome look. I would suggest at this point to let your cardstock dry instead of heat embossing it because I accidentally overheated the embossing powder and it made the resist not as nice as it should have been. But overall you'll just need to blot off your embossing um, area with a paper towel and it will resist the area. So you can see I can just clean it up there with absolutely no issues. It did get a little bit yellow but overall I still love the appearance of it. So I'm just going to go in and continue to add a little bit more yellow and blend that out and then heat dry it with my, um, my heat tool. Again leave it to dry and you'll get even more fantastic results but patience is something I do not have. So the next thing I wanted to do was stamp my sentiment. Now this one here is sort of a um, sarcastic sentiment and it's meant for a certain kind of person that's going to understand it. And it says common sense is a flower that doesn't grow in everyone's garden. So Susie Stamps is quite well known for her snarky stamps as well as a variety of other stamps. And I absolutely love funny sayings like this and I think that these cards really make um, homemade cards stand out from car store bought cards. So I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to uh, ink that up using some VersaFine ink. This is a pigment ink so it takes a couple of seconds to dry but I absolutely love the crisp detail it gives to sentiments when stamping. Using my Misty tool I'm able to stamp that perfectly straight as well as perfectly where I wanted it to be. So I absolutely love that but I did find that the sentiment got a bit lost so I wanted to make sure that it popped out and it gave me that idea to show off that technique that everybody's kind of using lately and I wasn't exactly sure how they were doing it at first. And um, this is a really easy technique that makes um, die cutting just even more fun. So let's go through this technique right now. So I'm going to grab a die. This is from Create a Smile Stamps and I'm going to um, run it through my die cutting machine using white paper first. Now this technique can also be used with sentiments, so you could use like a thank sentiment instead of stamping the common sense as a flower stamp or anything like that. I've been seeing a lot of people using it lately. And I'm going to also die cut the same die cut out of my card. Now you're probably thinking like, what are you doing? Are you crazy? What do, um, but I'm not using this on a different panel. I'm actually just going to elevate it using some 3D foam tape. I'm not 100% sure what this technique is called, but I've seen it around a lot and it looks really sharp. So I'm just going to grab my tweezers and poke out these little holes in the pierce die. Um, they don't die cut very well with my machine because I don't have the proper shims. So I'm sure they're just fine if you have the proper shims. I'm going to grab a piece of Simon Says Stamp black cardstock. It's 8.5 by 5.5 scored in the middle at 4 and a quarter inches and folded over. And I am going to put down my panel. So this is the panel where I, my original watercoloring is on and also the panel in which I die cut that um, orange um, banner there. I'm going to put some glue on there and then stick it onto my cardstock. I want to make sure all the areas are nicely glued down and then I'm just going to plop it in the middle of my card. 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add that white banner that I poked out. Now I did my best to try not to um, poke out any of the holes in that pierced eye. Um, the fact that I don't have the proper shim worked out really well for me here. If you are to going to pop out the holes on the white piece that you cut out, then that black border is going to show through, which might actually look quite nice. But I didn't want it to do that, so I left those circles in there. Put my white panel down, and then I grabbed my other panel that I created with the watercoloring on it. And then I added some 3D foam tape to it, and then stuck it right on top of the white die cut. Now once again, you could do this with a die cut sentiment instead of stamping a sentiment onto your card and then have that really nice watercolor look on the actual sentiment itself. Um, but now I think that that sentiment actually sticks out quite a bit more with the combination of being elevated as well as being against the black card stock that we used as our card panel. So I hope you enjoyed this technique and this card today. Um, check out So Suzy Stamps for any of those stamps that you need or all the supplies used are linked to below in the video description or on my blog. You can click up at the top to visit my blog, over on the right hand side on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel, or you can click on the moving video to check out my last video using So Suzy Stamps in which I used a perfect pearl technique. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I hope you enjoy your day.